Alrighty, so in this video we're going to take a look at how you can set up your .NET Core application to log data into Elasticsearch and use Kibana to view that data. My name is Vasily Olenik and you're watching the architecture and detailed design series where we are building a notification system from scratch using industry's best practices. I already have a small video on how you can set up your .NET Core application to send logs into Secu using Serilog, but I'll reiterate over what Serilog is nonetheless. It's basically one of the most popular logging libraries. It's really easy to use, easy to install, and has a wide community support, basically because most of us are using it nowadays, with lots of different Nougat packages in forms of syncs and enrichers. To get started with Serilog, we're gonna need a couple of Nougat packages that I've already pre-installed over here. So we're gonna go to our directory packages props, and we can see a couple of packages over here, starting with serilog ASP.NET Core, serilog.enrichers, environment process thread, exceptions, settings configurations, syncs for console, debug, and Elasticsearch. Here a small explanation should be done about what is a serilog sync and what is a serilog enricher. In short, serilog provides you this sync packages in order to let you log data into some kind of provider easier. Basically, you can just search for NuGet over here and just type in serilog.syncs and you'll see a bunch of different providers over here, the SACU that I mentioned previously, HTTP, Datadog, Slack, etc. It's basically a lot of different places where you can send your logs into and enrichers are basically nothing else than ways to add additional data to our logs. In our case, we're using the thread, the process environment, and Serilog comes with a couple of pre-built enrichers also. Now, once we have all the Nougat packages in place, I can close the directory packages right here and go to our utilities folder. And over here we have logging and the logging installer. And these three lines of code are basically everything you need to write in your C Sharp code. Well, with the exception of the app settings, but yeah, C Sharp code related, it's only these three lines of code that we're gonna need. And we basically say that we need the, a new logger configuration. We wanna read it from the configuration that gets passed into the installer, which is obviously our app settings file, and we want to create the logger. Uh, this method is basically available with the installation of this one, Serilog settings configuration nuget package. Otherwise, you're just simply not going to see this method over here. If you try to install it in a class library like I do here inside the shared class library. Now, the next thing that we need to do is basically set up our app settings. And inside app settings, we can see this small Serilog setup. It looks a lot like the logging one, since we can see the minimum level and basically I have a default minimum level and I'm overwriting Microsoft ASP.NET Core to minimum level of warning. If you want to have a course or a video series, a long video series on logging and how to set up and what's here at all, leave a comment down below. Other than that, we can see that we have another field over here, right too, which is essentially us setting up our syncs. And basically over here we have two syncs. First of all, we have the console, since we want to see the logs in our console. And then we have another object over here, which is basically our sync to Elasticsearch with the name Elasticsearch. And then we can, we should pass a couple of arguments over here, the node URI, which right now is running in a Docker container on this port on my machine. And then one of the more important things over here is index format. Why I say important? Because we're going to use it when we're going to set our Kibana dashboard. Index format is notifications underscore system dash and the current date. The next thing that is interesting to us is this enrich part, which basically tells us about the enrichers. So I want to use the from log context with machine name, with thread ID, enrichers. If you want to use additional syncs or additional enrichers, you'll have first to install the Nougat packages. They won't work like you referencing here some enricher or some sync that you have not installed via Nougat package into your solution. It doesn't work that way. You first have to install the Nougat packages. Other than that, we can also add additional properties that we want to our logs in our case. It can be, for example, the application name, can be some combination of application name, for example, node name or some form of 
maybe mention the environment where this is running. Obviously, it's up to you what kind of properties you want to add to your logs. And the last part that we need is basically the Docker Compose file, which in our case is pretty simple. We have two additional containers over here. The first one is being Elasticsearch, so you have the container name. The Docker image is basically from the last Docker Elastic Co, the Elasticsearch, the ports is 9200. Then you'll also need to specify two additional environment properties, the discovery type and XPAC security enable, which in our case is set to single node and to false. We will set a volume to keep our logs intact even if we restart or delete the container, in our case the Elasticsearch. And last we're gonna set up Kibana, the container name is pretty obvious, the image you can see it by yourself, the ports 5601. It will depend on Elasticsearch in our case, so we do not start up the Kibana without first starting up Elasticsearch. And last but not least, the Elasticsearch URL, which in our case is basically indicates to the port of our Elasticsearch container. That's everything that we need to do. And basically we can now just start up our application. And with that, I can go to Safari and basically double check two URLs. First of all, that our Elasticsearch is working on localhost 9200. And basically you can get this kind of result from it. That's fine. And then we're gonna go to our Kibana, which is on port 5601 and to start adding our logs. We will go over here to stack management and go to index management. Over here, we can click on the index name and copy it from here, or you can go to your app settings and copy the index name from there. Then go to discover. We will be welcomed with this small message over here where we are asked to create data view. So I just want to create a data view, name it notification system default. And basically we can add over here an index pattern. In our case, it's play notification underscore system. And you can see that it doesn't match any existing index that we have since we add the date of the log to the index name. However, what happens if I want to see all the logs from all the dates? We can basically just add a wildcard over here and we can see that your index pattern matches two sources. And yes, I want to view and save this dashboard. And as you can see, we already have a lot of logs flying in over here from our system. We can go over here and basically expand on it and see all the properties that we have in our structure log. So basically we have the message, the machine name, uh, the command type, the event ID itself, the index notification ID and somewhere over here we can see and somewhere over here, we should see the application name. Yeah, is the property that we set in our app settings over there. So you can, for example, create some queries for specific applications if you have a single index where more than one application dumps its logs. So with that, basically your API already sends all the logs over to Elasticsearch and you have Kibana to create dashboard on top of the logs for searching, for debugging purposes in general. As I mentioned in my CQ video, the approach that we took with the configurations part in the beginning with the three lines of code of C-sharp and most of the configuration coming from app setting, that's my preferred approach since it's easier for DevOps guys to configure logging in our system. And basically they don't need our interaction on any small change over there. If you like this kind of content, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. It helps me a lot. And until the next video comes out, have a nice one.